Hello there folks, this quick video today is going to talk about uh, creating an alarm based on a tank that might be leaking. So uh, this application has a uh, tank as you can see here and normally uh, it will either be holding a value or filling up with some value and only be drained or going down when it's in the drain mode. But if it's in the hold mode, the tank level should stay constant. But if they see a fall in the value when it's in the hold mode, they will know the tank is leaking. So what we're going to do here in this application, we've got a over here in data tags, we've currently got a tank level sensor. I've got actually a radar sensor connected to a, a graphite screen here. That's going to be our actual analog input value. I'm getting it from one of the graphite modules right here as you can see. So we're going to create another tag here that will give us three states. A drain, hold, and fill mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and click here, create a new tag, and I'm going to call this tag mode, for instance. The mode tag, I've done other videos that show multi-state, that's exactly what this is going to be. So if I go to the format tab here, and down here where it says format type general, hit the pick button here, declare this as a multi-state tag, click OK. And this particular tag, I'm going to be discrete, there's only three states, again drain, hold, and fill. So I'm going to put, this will be zero, I'll make this one, and here's two, and then I'm going to fill in here, I'm going to say this is the drain, drain mode, this one here will be hold, and this one here will be the fill mode. Alright, so that's going to be our mode tag, and our goal here is to basically, I'll go back here to display pages, again to say that when we're in the hold mode, if this value happens to go down, we know we've got a leak. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put on this screen, for instance, over on the left hand side, I'll go to primitives, I'll go to my home directory of primitives, and I'm going to come down and choose a three state selector so that we can actually manually pick different modes. And the one I'm going to use is uh, maybe this one right here. I'll just click on this guy and I'll drag it out here on the screen. And then I'll double click on this guy and I want this guy to rotate between the different modes. So if I go over here to the right side, click data tags on the right side, simply take the mode tag and drag it out here into the value field right there. Let me move this over so you can see it. And this will be, when it's in this position, it's going to be the drain. This will be the hold. And this position here will be the fill. If you go to the advanced tab, it shows those three states. And of course, you could change those numbers if you wanted to, but we're going to leave it as 0, 1, and 2. All right, I'll click OK. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, no button like this is uh, any good without any particular labels on it. So I'm going to go over here to the right side and go to the home directory of my primitives, come down to core primitives, and I'm going to grab just the text box, and I'll just drag this guy over here like this, and I'm going to say this guy, whoops, you might not see that, but I'll type drain, enter, there's the drain. I'll drag the scout again here and I'll place it right here. And this particular mold's going to be hold. And I'll drain it out. Drain. I'll drag it out again here. And this will be fill. And just to get a little bit pretty, I'm going to kind of iron put that there. And I'll put this guy here. And this will be in the middle. You know, we could even make this down here like so. Okay. I'm going to leave it like that. So. Again, when I'm in the hold mode is when I want, if this thing starts to go down in the hold mode, I want to create an alarm. So if I go over to data tags on the left, click on my tank level sensor, and if I go here to my alarms tab here, go to the alarms tab, you can see down here where it says event mode disabled. If I hit the pole down here and choose, say, fall in value, and let's say that uh, because we've got an analog sensor that changes just a little bit, I'm going to say that uh, you know if it falls uh, lower than a 20, we'll say, I'm going to put up here the event name, tank is leaking. But the only time I want this alarm to be valid is if I'm in the hold mode, not in the fill or drain mode, but in the hold mode. So to make that decision right here where it says enable, yeah, I'm going to hit the edit button right here, and it should bring up a little box here. 
oops, there it goes. Sorry, I'm a little patient. Here's a little expression. And the only time I want this to be true is when mode equals one or the hold mode. So I'm going to simply just drag my mode sensor or my mode tag right here. And to remember, to ask the question, I'll put one space, two equal signs, and a one. Two equal signs ask the question, one equal sign assigns a value. In this case, I want to ask, does mode equal one? If it does, I'll click OK, then this would be true and this alarm would show up. So I'm going to go back to display pages and I'm going to put an alarm view on here to see if this actually works. So if I go over here to uh, data tags, I'm sorry, over here in primitives and go to the home directory, come down to, I believe it's system primitives, and in system primitives on the top there is a thing called the alarm viewer. I'll just drag this particular primitive on the screen like this. I'm going to squeeze it a little bit here so you all can see what I'm doing. I'll move this over here like this. Now if you notice folks, I've got a white background here and a white background here. Kind of hard to see, uh, differentiate. So I'm going to double click on this guy to bring up its properties and I'm on the format tab and I'm going to change the background color of this thing to be just slightly gray so it differentiates a little bit. I'll click OK and there it is on my screen. Alright, let's go ahead and download this to our screen and let's see what happens. So I'll go ahead and download it there. I'll pull up the web browser so that we can see that here. So give it a second here to start up. Okay, you can currently see right now that I am in the drain mode. You can see that I've got a sensor here on the particular screen. So if I move my target just a skosh, you'll see the number changes accordingly. Yeah, I kind of went down a little bit there. And if I push the sensor up a little bit, or the, the target up a little bit, you'll see the value actually goes up. Now the whole purpose of this organ is this idea is to show that if I was in the hold mode, if this number happens to change greater than 20, I know that I've got a leak. So if I click here, switch this to the hold mode. Now I'm in the hold mode. If I happen to go up, you know, for some odd reason, maybe there's condensation or something, but the tank happens to fill up, no big deal. That's okay. But if I'm in the hold mode and the value starts to drop a little bit or so forth, so let me let this sensor uh, kind of stabilize a little bit here. You'll see it's at like 53, 60 or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, it's still kind of rising. It should start to settle here. Once I let it settle for a little bit, if I take my target and if I move this guy down a little bit, let's see here, I'll just start to move it, the target down a little bit, and you can see instantly that when I drop greater than 20 points right here, I suddenly get an alarm that says tank is leaking. Now I left that alarm uh, in that mode, so even if I change this around, the actual doesn't clear, but if I go over here to data tags in our program, and on this particular alarm, if I change it to, uh, well, let's see here. If I go accept, somewhere here I can change it so this disappears. Well, I'll have to add that to another video, and my dogs are going crazy. Anyway, this is just a quick video showing you guys how to use the uh, fall in value demo to uh, monitor a tank that happens to be uh, leaking, for instance. Anyway, any questions, please uh, give us a call or let us know. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.